Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Mark Coster, a.k.a. Mark Cuscio, and this is vlog number 21, and we're going to be recapping my promo rap battle that just dropped on my channel with a guy named Frank Woods. Shout out to Frank Woods. Follow him at Twitter at WinInMan1, or you can look him up as The Goat. He's also on Facebook as Frank Woods. Um, find him. Find his channel. Uh, like, comment, sub. Man's dope. He's got some fire freestyles, some cool-ass content. Definitely deserves your attention. Definitely deserves to be checked out. Plus, he agreed to do this battle, which we're going to talk about right now. Now, I'm super happy. Like, I'm honored that I got to rap battle this dope artist from Detroit, Michigan. Like, I'm not trying to hate on this guy at all. This guy is really cool and really dope. But after the battle happened, he did some, some shit I don't exactly agree with. And that's just me being honest and straightforward with all of you. And this vlog is really to clear the air, to give him, you, the viewers, the people who were involved in the comments when the battles started dropping and what happened, this is going to give everybody closure, it's going to be factual, we're going to actually look into messages, read some comments, and see what was actually said, and where all this confusion came from, on his end, of course, because... I knew what I was getting myself into. I sent him the rules and the regulations in a message telling him exactly what I was proposing and he agreed to it. So, but let's get started. You know, let's let's just stop talking about it. Let's just let's just get into it, right? All right. So, anyway, shout out to Frank Woods, aka Winning Man, aka The Goat. Shout out to my opponent. Check him out. He is a dope artist. He really has some dope freeze. And he does have some dope videos on his channel. But we're going to get into to Frank Woods right now because we're going to recap our battle with Frank Woods right now. So, let's get into it. First thing, we're going to start with the whole reason that we came across each other. How this match even like became a thought. Because it was me who messaged him and threw the offer to have a promo rap battle at him. And I remember I told him in the message, strictly promo. But, you know, it's cool. Like I said, we're going to get to those messages soon. Let's start with the comment on my battle rap vlog video. Now, if you follow my channel recently, I've been doing these vlog videos of my favorite battle rap rounds. And that's all they are. I go from King of the Dot, Smack, Premiere, URL, RBE. If, if it's a big battle league, if it's a small battle league, it could be I battle, it could be battle of the Zay. If you battled on a league and I catch wind of one of your rounds and I like it, it could end up on one of these vlogs. And that's all these vlogs are. Basically me just sharing some of my favorite battle rap rounds with my viewers. So, that's what those are. So, he commented on there. On my second one, my part two. And I don't know if y'all can read it. But here it is on my phone. It's this big, healthy comment right here. This paragraph right here. And I don't know if you can read that because of the screen or anything. I don't know if I can make it any clearer or nothing for you. I don't know if that helped touching the screen or nothing. But I'm going to read it to you anyway, just in case y'all can't see it. All right. So just so y'all can see what video this is here, too. This is, this is what it looks like. You know, the title, the description, all that. So, let's get back to his comment real quick here. Frank Woods. A little emoji face. Looks rather shocked or taken back. He said, uh, and I quote, Don't let the GOAT see this. He might drop an album on them. Like he could really compete with some of the guys that I've put on these battle rap vlog videos. Let's be serious. Let's be real. He's dope, but I don't know if he's that dope. He lost to me. And we're going to get to that. Anyway, I quote again. Don't let the goat see this. He might drop an album on them. Dope show looking for rappers to challenge the goat after he beat King Los and Loaded Lux in a hot 97 freestyle battle. He made everyone quit. That's what he said. That was his words exactly. Now, I'm like, all right, who the fuck is this guy, right? I look on his channel. He's got a bunch of 
of freestyle videos where he's just spitting in front of his camera just like me. But I don't see any of those videos showing him versus King Los. Him versus Loaded Lux. So I'm kind of I'm kind of wondering here. I'm a little suspicious. I ain't going to lie. I don't really trust a lot of rappers these days. A lot of them troll. A lot of them just kind of talk out their asses. A lot of them front. And I mean, maybe that's just part of the game. It's whatever. So I questioned it. Be honest with you. So I hit him back. And this is what I said to him. Thanks for checking it out. That would be awesome if all that happened because he watched this. Not knowing Frank Woods is the actual GOAT at this time. I hadn't quite gotten that far. Still trying to figure out who this guy is and if he, if what he said was actually true. But that's what I told him out. I told him, thank you for checking it out. That would be awesome if all that happened because he watched this. My video, meaning. And again, you can go on my video and you can you can read this little interaction. He didn't respond to that comment. So I'm assuming that was a chill-ass comment and whatnot. So let's get off of YouTube but continue on here. We're going to go on to my Twitter now where all the action with this guy has taken place. Where a lot of the messages started because I'll be honest with you. I had a hard time finding this guy on Facebook to message him to ask him. Now, I looked for his battle with Loaded Lux. I didn't see it. I looked for his battle with King with King Los, and I didn't find it. It's not on YouTube. There is no no mention here, hair, tail of it. It's almost as if it's just something he wished happened or, you know, something like that. So, I get on my Twitter because I, I promote most on my Twitter. When I share links and stuff, I'm always tweeting them on Twitter if I'm not networking. It's part of promotion. So he tweets me, can I enter? I'll take on everybody, their live feed right now. A lot of typos because this guy can't type on his phone or just the phone's doing autocorrect or whatever. But a couple typos. I got it though. You, again, if you follow me at Bay Area Thug 77 you can see it. He's, eh, can't really see it, but he's right here. There's my finger. So he's right there. He says, can I enter? I'll take on everybody. Their live feed right now. Live. Yeah, he actually spelled live with a B. Again, typos, autocorrect. Not hating, not trying to assume, but he said that wrong. So, again, I respond because I'm curious about this guy. So I respond to the first thing he says. It's not about entering, my dude. My favorite battle rap rounds vlogs are just me sharing some of my all-time favorite moments in battle rap. Because that's really all they are. Then he tweets me again after I say that and says, I like show, I get geeked and go. Him a same mode. When I see rap battles as the GOAT, I always gotta display my confidence. And sometimes I use that to level up by pretending I'm battling the best. My freestyles are all my styles with different nicknames I earned on different tracks. From what I just read, it sounded as if he says he's just displaying his confidence and he sometimes pretends that he's battling opponents that are better than him to up his game. Now there's nothing wrong with, you know, an imagination behind the scenes, but when you go to other people, other artists, and you start talking about, I took it to King Los and Loaded Lux like you really actually did it, but you don't have any links to send through, or nothing on YouTube showing that, that's called lying. That's called fronting. That's just fucking wrong. I don't play that. I don't know a lot of artists that do, unless you're a troll. But let's get back to the tweets here. Because I'm not trying to be a fucking asshole, I tweeted him back after that. I said, if you battled on any league, Premier Battle League, King of the Dot, Smack, URL, RBE, etc., hit me with a link. If you have battled King Los or Loaded Lux, send me those links or the links. Happy Thanksgiving, salute, stay up, bless. Again, I'm not trying to be an asshole, I'm curious about this guy. I kind of, I'll be honest with you, I felt kind of bad. He wanted to get on a battle rap 
round vlog video, and I couldn't do that because he's. I don't see him on any battle leads. I don't know about any of his battles. So I told him, hit me with those links. Let me see these battles. Maybe you will end up on one of these video vlogs. He responds to that, which again, you can see it too if you follow me at Bay Area Thug 770. There it is with the salute picture and everything. He responds with, and I quote, I wish he quit running. I've heard of the leagues. I've destroyed a few of those rappers. They just don't respond after they trash talk. He called me out on here on July 28th, not Hot 97. He called me out on here on July 28th, Hot 97 battle. They never had after I sent three at them. If they serious, they'll back you what they put out. I'm just trying to comprehend this man at this point. But from what I can tell, he's still wilding. He's still talking out the side of his neck. He's still fronting. Like, no, you fucking didn't, man. And if you did, you'd have actual proof. You know? But, like I said, I'm not trying to be an asshole. But since he didn't send me any links, after I told him to, you know, after I said, send those links through. Show me this proof. Show me what you're talking about. I want to see video evidence. Audio fucking files. Something. Otherwise, you lying. You fronting. And again, I don't play that. So after that, I stopped responding to him. But I'm not going to lie. I really, really, really felt bad for this guy. Because, like, I checked out his channel. I checked out his freestyles. He's got talent. He can spit. He can rap, you know? But he didn't show me anything. He didn't say anything, you know? He didn't, sh he didn't send me no links. He didn't send me to a website that tells me that he battled this person. He, he's really not defending his case. He's just trying to deflect, I feel like. So after I don't reply, he tweets me again and says, Bet, uploading Hot 97 entry. An entry video. Entry. Not an actual Hot 97 freestyle link where he's on that place actually rapping for those people behind the mic, but an entry video. Who do you think you trying to impress, pal? Like, I'm not even trying to, like... Like, I'm really not trying to, like, get too into it because, you know, I don't really know you like that. You don't really know me like that. And this was all supposed to be for fun and entertainment and the love of hip-hop. But, bro, you wildin'. You straight wildin'. Alright? So, cool, whatever. He's gonna upload that video link. So, finally, after looking for this guy on Facebook and not being able to find his ass, I hit him up on Twitter. And I asked him to help me find him on Twitter or on Facebook so that I can message him, you know? I wanted to, you know, I wanted to talk to this guy. I wanted to, to hit him up and offer him the, the, I wanted to offer him a promo rap battle with me. An online promo rap video. A YouTube format so that I could share his link when I posted a status on Facebook and shared it up. And so people could check him out too so they could see both sides of the battle. So everything would be fair, right? Like, I wanted things to be fair. I wanted this to benefit us both. I wanted people to look at us both. I wanted, you know, a classic hip-hop online rap battle. Like, just strictly for promo. Something fun, right? Because he couldn't be on one of my Battle Rap Round vlogs. He couldn't be on one of those because he didn't send me any links of him with King Los or Loaded Lux or anyone from any Battle League or anyone in that matter that he's ever battled. He didn't send me no proof that he has. And because I haven't seen any of his battle links that he, you know, has, if he's battled anyone, you know, other than me at this point, you know, he didn't send me no proof that he's battled, so I couldn't put him on my blog. And that's the main point of that. But I felt bad, because I still wanted to support the guy. So I figured, let me hit him up. Let me see if maybe he'll do a battle with me, an online battle. Two MCs, just a cool-ass, you know, you talk your shit, 
I talk my shit. And it's one round, written, he can freestyle it if he really wants to because I've been in online battles on Facebook groups that I'm no longer in. I've done a few online battles and I'm not trying to boast or make that look like an accolade or something, but I've done them, all right? And I've had rappers agree to a written battle and show up to that same battle freestyling online. Yeah, like they, they put up the camera and instead of writing out some bars for me like I would do for them, they would show up and they would freestyle. That's their choice. It's cool. Some of them won, some of them lost. Not gonna front, not gonna hate. But I wanted to have a written battle with this guy. If he wanted to go ahead and freestyle, I was gonna let him. You know, I don't really care. Talk your fucking shit, right? You wanna freestyle, you got enough confidence to think your freestyles are better than your pen? Cool. Freestyle me in this one round battle that we're about to have. Whatever. Anyway, so I hit him up. And, and, you know, here's the messages. Again, just so you can see everything. I hit him up. Very first message at the top. Okay. I said, hey, what's up, bro? I was wondering if you have a Facebook I could talk to you on. Because I couldn't find his ass. And so I wanted to know. He goes, yeah. Woods Small Dash Engine Repairs or Frank Woods. So I think Frank Woods. That should be easy to find, right? Try to look it up, try to search for it, it doesn't pop up. At least, he doesn't pop up. There's a few other Frank Woods out there, but this guy don't pop up. So, I put Detroit, Michigan to try to help. That don't help. He still don't pop up. So, I try Woods Small Engine Repairs. It kind of pops up, but it doesn't show a profile that'll take me to it. So, I told him, for sure, G, thank you for responding, I'm looking... Looking to find you right now. If you get a friend request from Mark Coster from Napa, it's me. Trying to let him know I am trying to look for him. I try, couldn't find him. He responds with, bet, just made a business post. Okay, well, cool. Maybe it'll help, maybe it won't. Whatever. So as I'm trying to find this guy, this is what I'm seeing. And he's definitely not there. If you look at all the... None of those are him, and he confirmed that, because he ended up finding me. But I tried to find him on Facebook. I couldn't find him. I don't know why. I asked him if any of those profiles were him, and he said, nothing back. So I was like, I guess not. Well, my dude, I'm terrible at finding people, which I apologize for, but find me on Facebook so we can talk. Again, I'm from Mark Cost. I'm Mark Coster, and I'm from Napa. He goes... Frank Woods, Detroit, Michigan. So I try it again. I type in Frank Woods, Detroit, Michigan. This is what pops up. So I hit him up with the screenshot showing him that. And I ask him, is this the one? Like, is this you? Let me know. I'll send a request. He doesn't respond at first. But then he does, and he sends me this. A picture of his profile, so I know more of what, more or less what I'm looking for now. And that's dope, right? Kind of helps. But that profile's not popping up when I search his name. So I go to try it again, and it doesn't work, so I respond to him again. Damn it, why isn't it popping up? LOL, sorry for the... Sorry for that. Just frustrated. Well, shit. It's definitely not popping up for me, but if you can, if you can, bro, hit me up on Messenger so we can talk about this idea I had. It's simply, it's simple, hopefully beneficial for us, and it won't cost us nothing to do it. Meaning it's going to be free for him, free for me, hopefully beneficial to both of us. You know, and it's very simple, very easy to do. All right, again. You know, there it is. The whole conversation, nothing but the conversation. And as you can see, he responds after I said that, saying, Open up Messenger now. So I'm like, cool. This is my profile pic. Just showing him so he knows what to look for. Which I'm sure he already has it figured out better than I did. But that was my profile picture. So I wanted him to make sure he knew. He says he just sent me a message. And you know what? It's cool because it actually got to me. And that's... Where we're going to switch it from Twitter back to Messenger. So, he hits me up on Messenger. 
We finally made it to Facebook, everybody. It's great, right? So let's get this talk underway. So he sends me a thumbs up how I add with a laughing face. Eh, whatever. Okay. Woo! This is what I said. Woo! Thank you for indulging me, meaning thank you for finding me, you know? So, all right, you were interested in getting on one of my video vlogs. I can't put you on one of those since you don't have any links to battles or any of the mentioned on Twitter, and I made sure to quote that, leagues, but I would like to discuss a possible rap battle over YouTube and Facebook. Strictly promo. Here it is again, for all y'all to see. Strictly promo. Like I'm not playing. This guy thinks I'm dumb trying to post screenshots like I was doing of the rules and shit. I'm actually making a vlog about this now because, you know, like I said, he was pulling some stupid shit on Twitter and I don't agree with it. So this is basically me pleading my case, putting everything on the table. That was my opening paragraph to him. Wanted to let that sink in for a minute. So he responds back to me. Cool, I'll be down for that. I'm mostly a YouTube rapper, but my friend Paige Kennedy, we still battle each other. So he raps with the top name rappers and starts debates and challenges with them about me. Been friends since I was six. Or since we were six. Okay. It's a cool story. Like, I'm not going to lie. It was a really cool story. At this point, do I believe his ass? I'm not sure. But I'm not trying to be mean or nothing. Like, I'm really not trying to be rude. I'm skeptic of this guy and everything he's telling me. So he sends me a link. And this is one of the videos I, I did see on his channel. So, it was a Thanksgiving freestyle, apparently. Here, here we go, back to it. He sends me a link after sending that, which is cool. You know, I check it out, whatever. So here's what I said back. Hey, that's dope. And for sure, it would be an honor to put together a battle with you. So here's what I was thinking for the particulars, details, and rules for the battle. Being extra, you know, specific for this guy and direct with everything. First thing I say, no beats. That's the first rule I put in there. No beats. And then I put in parentheses... Well, at least I think it's a parenthesis. Little fucking things on the side. Acapella battle. Like in the video you checked out on my channel. Meaning my battle rap vlog video that he left a comment on. Okay? So they were rapping acapella, so we're gonna rap acapella. Because that's what King of the Dot does. That's what Smack does. Now, there are some leagues who still do beat battles, but most leagues that I watch now do acapella rap battles. So that's what we were going to do. So I put acapella battle, period, no beat. Second thing, no bets. Obviously, from the get-go, I said this was strictly promo. And I even put that on the side after I say no bets. Obviously, because it's promo. Any obvious person can see that. Then I said it's going to be a one, one, uno round battle. Okay. I wanted it to be a written battle, meaning you have to write bars for me. Then I said, because of what I said earlier or in one of my other takes where I said I've had online battles and the people that were supposed to have wrote for me ended up showing up to those battles with freestyles, which is cool. That's their choice. And some of them actually won. Some of them kind of lost. I'm not going to front. But because I have that knowledge in my head and because I know some rappers don't always show up to their battles and I'm not hating, I'm not going to name any names, I'm not trying to embarrass anybody, but some rappers do come unprepared to their battles. So I said written as one of the rules and stipulations, but I also told him he can freestyle if he wanted to. But I preferred to write because it makes battles more intense and next level. The next thing, the last stipulation, was time limits. I put 2 minutes 30 seconds. No exceptions. Those were my 5 stipulations for this battle. Okay? 
And again, I posted the screenshots to show all that. So, you know, here you go. I had that picture on Twitter, on some tweets, but now y'all get to see it for yourselves. The rules, the stipulations, everything. I even gave him leeway, leeway by saying he could freestyle his round for me if he so choose to. And that was it, right? It seems simple enough. I made it super easy for him to understand, okay? One round, written, acapella, two minutes, 30 seconds. Simple, or at least I thought. Well, all right. So I message him after I send him that because he didn't hit me back. I, you know, I asked him, what do you think? He didn't answer, so I hit him back again. Does that sound good? Still no answer. Now, it was pretty late, so, you know, I'll give it to him. I was up late messaging him, so he probably fell asleep, and I'll give him that. So he hit me up in the morning, Sunday, at 9.41 a.m., Yes! That was the first thing he messaged me back after I sent him the rules. Yes! So he agreed to that. He knew what he was getting into. He knew what I was going to be doing. A one round written a cappella battle. Two minutes, 30 seconds, no exceptions. That's what I was doing. He says, and I quote, I'll freestyle rhymes. I'll just imagine the beat in my head, then go from there. Again, I've had rappers who accepted written challenges and showed up freestyling. If he has enough confidence in himself to go and try to match my pen with a cool freestyle, if he thinks the cool freestyle will beat my pen game, I have no problem with that decision. That's your decision. Let's see how good your freestyles really are, if that's the case. And I'm not trying to knock them. I was just saying, I'm going to write for you. You're choosing to freestyle. That's what you chose to do. I didn't say nothing about that. There was no mention of a song versus song, as you can see. We just got to the rules and stipulations, and I just showed them to you. There was no mention of an audio track versus an audio track. None of that. So where he came up with that, I don't know. But we'll get into that. That's part of the wiling he was doing on Twitter. So again, Sunday at 9.41, this man in the morning messages me back and says, Yes, I'll freestyle rhymes. I'll just imagine the beat in my head, then go from there. Cool. If you want to do that, that's your choice. I'm writing for you. So I was like, right on. Hell yeah. First sure, my dude. I was super excited. I was hyphy. I was hyped up for this. This will be fun, and we'll have a classic for sure. I started my round, meaning I started writing it, for him last night. And then I was working on getting it recorded. I will hit him up as soon as possible, ASAP, when I do. That way we can kick this shit off for real, because I was excited. So he sends me a link. Monday, 9.47 a.m. So it's not too far after he sent me yes to the rules and everything. It's called Last Days Freestyle Friday The Go. I saw it on his channel. I'll check it out. Right at the moment, I'm kind of working on my battle round. So, trying to get off his freestyles and his content, I could always go back and show some love on his videos later and whatnot. You know, that's all cool. I could do that later. I gotta get some other people back for checking out my newest, my newest uploads too. So, I was gonna check out his Last Days Freestyle, if I haven't already done it in a little bit after the battle, after I was done working on it. So I hit him up Monday at 11.57 a.m. And I said, are you ready? I'll have my video ready for you tomorrow. Meaning I wrote my round, my one round for you. It's done. It's recorded. It's ready to go. It's ready for tomorrow. And he messages me back. And here, we can show you this. We'll, we'll stop before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Here's the part where he says yes, and he'll freestyle his rhymes. Just so you all can see, we're going to backtrack a little bit. I want y'all to see every little inch of this conversation, since he's trying to make such a big deal out of it. So, there you go. You can see it there. He says, yes, I'll freestyle my rhymes. I said, right on. He sent me a link to the last day's Freestyle Friday. 
So here's the one where I say, are you ready? I'll have my video ready for you tomorrow. And he says, yeah, I'll do a live, no beat. Okay. Now, automatically, I'm a little ticked because I wanted this guy to do it in YouTube form. And I thought I made that clear, but I guess not clear enough. So maybe that was my fault. But I got a little ticked, a little, little frustrated. But I took a breath, calmed myself down, tried to come at this guy with my emotions checked. All right, Cause like I said, I'm not trying to be an asshole. Sometimes I can take things a little too personally, and sometimes I snap at people and it sucks. I'm sure everyone has that problem, but I try to check myself here. But I asked him if he was ready. He said, yeah. I'll do a live video chat. I'm ticked. Because he said that. But I'm not going to yell at him or snap at him or anything. Because he really doesn't know what I'm feeling or why I want him to do with YouTube. So I'm like, so I ask him straight up, quote, Can you record it for YouTube so I can post the link to your video in my video's description box as well as in the comments and on the Facebook status when I share it? Or every, for everyone to view and see. If you do it live, I won't be able to do that. It will also bring more eyes to your YouTube channel. Let's read that again and let that really sink in, shall we? I hope you're watching, Winning Man, because this is going to be really compelling stuff. All right. Can you record it for YouTube so I can post the link to your video in my video's description box as well as in the comments and on Facebook when I share it and make a status for everyone to view and see? If you do it live, I won't be able to do that. Not to mention, if you do it live, there's no guarantee, you, guarantee anyone's going to view it. You're not Eminem. As much as you want to claim you're better than him, you're not Eminem. You're not even MGK. Nobody's tweeting your name every day. Nobody's going on your YouTube and adding millions of views and hundreds of billions of likes and comments. You're not that guy yet. Sorry, bro. But it's all good. We're going to get past that. He says... In response to the whole, can you do it in YouTube form so I can share his link up and give him extra eyes to his channel, bet I do got a few acapella. I can post they old. Thanks. So I'm assuming he got the message. I'm assuming he comprehended me. I'm assuming you, winning man, Frank Woods, understood. Maybe that was giving you too much of the benefit of the doubt, but... Again, we're gonna we're not gonna we're gonna we're not gonna be rude here. I'm skeptical of the things you tell me, and I'm I'm serious because you haven't proved nothing to me. So after he says thanks, woo, was that interesting? After he says thanks, I say no problem, my dude. Just want to make sure it's fair for both of us and that we get both that we both get the same exposure from this. I'll read that one more time since I kind of fucked up and the camera kind of fell. No problem, my dude. Just wanted to make sure it's fair for both of us and that we both get the same exposure from this. That's really what this was about. Giving him exposure, giving me exposure, and doing something for hip-hop and the culture behind it. Because I don't know about you, Winning Man, but I love battle rap. I fucking love that shit. And I love the culture behind hip-hop. So I wanted to do this with you. I was honored to do this with you. I respected the hell out of you for agreeing to do it. After I told him thank you, he sends me a thumbs up. Which again, I'm assuming this man understands. Alright Frank, let's continue. Tuesday, the day of the battle. Here we go. Alright, bro. You ready to one take your round? Like, I'm excited for this shit. And I said it that way because he told me, I'm gonna freestyle and think of a beat in my head. He told me he was gonna freestyle his round, right? Let's go back up there. Let's go back up there. 
he said, I'm going to freestyle my round right here. Right here. Right here. Beep. Yep, right there. I'll freestyle rhymes. I'll just imagine the beat in my head, then go from there. Quote, unquote. Now, back down to the day of the battle. So, again... The Monday of Tuesday, the day the battle's going down. All right, bro, you ready to one take your round? Because he's freestyling. He responds with, live on Twitter. Just did. Oh, now I'm super ticked. Now I'm just really skeptical of this guy's listening abilities, his comprehension skills. You know, like, what part of YouTube format didn't you understand? You're 40 years old. You claim you've been rapping like this for 20 some years. You can't put a freestyle video together in a day and a half and have it ready the morning of our battle. You completely ignore the YouTube format request and do a live freestyle on Twitter? After I told you about making it into a YouTube form video. Yeah, now I'm a little ticked. So now I'm just going to be straightforward with you, bro. Because you, you, I don't know about you. I really don't. I need you to record it in YouTube form, my G. Remember, so I can share your link up. So he sends me a link to the Twitter broadcast of another freestyle he did called The Greatest Rapper in History. I'm expecting his battle round. Not another fucking freestyle. I want your battle round. You said you were going to freestyle one round for me. Where's it at? Why are you sending me this? I'm asking for your battle round. I want to kick the battle off. That's where my head's at. So anyway, again, he sends me something off of Twitter. The greatest rapper alive. I've been wanting to say to you, say this to you since I started the blog, bro. Give Cassidy's ego back. For real. So he sends me that link to the greatest rapper alive Twitter broadcast. I said, do you have that rap on YouTube? Because I asked him specifically for a battle round on YouTube. For our battle. For our battle. I thought I made that clear. He says, gonna upload it after I pick up the son from school. Alright, I can't hate that. I'm, I'm a family man. I grew up with lots of family around. You know, I'm, I'm not against family. You gotta go pick up your kid from school. Salute, man. Go take care of your kid. Like, honestly. I wasn't even hating on that response. Upload it when you get home. When you get your kids settled. Get them home from school and everything. You know, respect. You know, for real. I can't hate on that response at all. And I'm just being honest and straightforward. And I know this is a super long, super long vlog. And I know most of you probably aren't going to watch this whole thing. But I hope you do. Just because you need to hear all of this. Because this man be wilding. Changing and twisting shit up. And misconstruing shit. But anyway. I believe, I honestly believe he had to go pick up his son. So I honestly believe that. I gave him... I gave him his due there. Cool. So I responded to that with, for sure, my dude. Send me the link when you do. I'll keep my round unlisted until I have your link so I can add your info to my description box and then make the Facebook status. So I'm trying to keep my round from coming out before his, you know? Like, I don't want people to hear my round and then his round not be there, you know? Or have to wait to hear his round. I want to have them both together. That's why I wanted to have his link to his round so that when I shared mine, his link would be there for all the people I'd tag or all the people that might see it on my share status. You know, I wanted people to see this man's round, see both rounds together, you know, because that's what I used to do on those online battle leagues. I used to drop my link when they dropped theirs or we'd drop it together, you know? At least that's how it was supposed to be. So I told him I'd keep my shit unlisted until he got his shit done and, you know, picked up his son and, you know, all that. Like, 
So after I said that, he sends me another YouTube link. It says, here we go freestyle. It says, here we go freestyle battle, the GOAT vs. Costner. Automatically, he got my last name wrong. If this is supposed to be his round, he got my last name wrong. That's the first thing. But it, that, that's, that's dumb. I ain't even trying to make a big deal out of that. Not even. Because a lot of people get my last name wrong. The fact that he sent me another freestyle link, I was skeptical because this man's been sending me links now for like the past couple of days. So I ask him, this is the one? Explanation point question mark. I'm hoping to hear a, yes, this is my battle round. Yes, this is my freestyle one round battle round for you. This is for our battle. He says, no. Uploading non-beat for non-beat. And first song was for the one you had, Beat. I'm a little skeptical here. Because that, that, that there's, there's a little blank spot in there. Something's not right. So this is where we go back to Twitter and the messages. Okay. So... When he didn't respond back to me on Facebook, sorry, I had to get back to Twitter messages. When he didn't respond back to me on Facebook when I asked him if that freestyle he sent me was, this is the one, explanation point, question mark. Um, he didn't answer me. So I went to Twitter because I figured that's where this guy was. So... I sent him the edge then. It's, an, it's a gif. Or however you say that. I sent him the edge then. If you've been on Twitter, you probably have seen this shot because he posted it. But I sent him that. Basically, I sent him this because I was still waiting for his battle round to drop. He sends me back. You did a beat. The link send me to a dope track. I didn't send him a link to a dope track. I didn't send him any link yet. My video is still unlisted, still private, waiting for his. So here's what happened. He went on to my YouTube channel to try to find my video. Even though I told him it was unlisted and private, he went on to my YouTube and he found my latest track with my big homie Speakeasy and my buddy M20. This is my newest music release. It came out before the battle because I have to keep my channel active. Usually every Monday I post new music. Sometimes I do vlogging, sometimes I have a gamer video in between, but usually I drop my music on Monday. And for all you who haven't seen it yet, this is the this is the track here that he's referring to. I had this saved in my phone since the weekend before this one. Since last weekend, to be completely honest with you. Since last weekend. I was planning to release this this Monday. Before the battle. Before I even had the idea for the battle. Before I even knew who Frank Woods was before we even talked about a battle. I had this audio track with me and my boys saved in my phone for like a week because I had just put out new music and a new gamer video or a new vlog. So I wasn't like trying to put out any more new music for a minute. I wanted to give my new music a chance to sink in and run its numbers up and get the promotion it deserves because it was You Want More 3. That's my rap series. Okay, that's my new rap series. So if you're a current follower and are tuning in to me, you'll know that I've started a new rap series. And this was the third installment of it. So I wanted to give it time to get its views up. Didn't want to like let it get overshadowed or nothing. So when Monday came around, I told my boys I would post this song out. 
and I kept my word to them because I needed new music for the channel. I didn't tell this guy to go onto my channel and look at that video and assume that I was calling him out or to hear it and take it so personally as if it was about him or if it had any connection to our battle at all. This man took it upon himself to go on my YouTube, find this video, and somehow connect it into our battle. As if I sneak dissed him on the low or something. Now let me be straightforward, honest, simple, blunt, no sugarcoat. I don't sneak diss anymore. I did in the past. I have in the past, but I don't do it anymore. If I'm going to diss somebody, it's going to be a diss track. It'll definitely say I'm dissing you, and you will definitely know I'm dissing you. There will be no sneak about it. You will know if I'm dissing you. All right. So the fact that you went on my channel, found my newest music video, and took it personally as a diss to you, a call out for the battle, that's on you, my G. That ain't on me. That's a reflection of your stupidity. All right. So let's get back to the messages. I didn't. That was my newest music video. I have my round private. Again, it's acapella. I'm telling him this. I just, I'm just waiting on you so I can copy and paste your link into my info. So at this point now, I feel like I have to send him my link. So that he can see that my promo video is acapella. It sticks to the rules. That he's got everything so fucking misconstrued already. And he's trying to pull some sneaky shit. I'm thinking once he sees my battle round, it'll clear up everything. And he'll take that link, the one that he saw on my channel, the one he assumed was aimed at him, was a shot at him, was somehow connected to the battle, was him. I sent him my round, which goes against my normal policies. I normally don't drop it until he dropped his. But I sent him my link because I felt like he needed to see that I stuck to the rules. The agreed upon rules. So I did. And I told him, please keep yours to 2.30 as, as agreed upon. Because his freestyles, the ones he's been throwing at me, the links he's been sending me for a few days, were longer than 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So, that was sent when I said, please keep yours to 2.30 as agrees upon. That was sent Tuesday, 12.53 p.m. I'm still waiting for this motherfucker to drop his round. I wait about another hour. About another hour. I'm not trying to rush you, my dude, but I am trying to get this shit cracking. Do you have a YouTube link for me? Meaning, do you have your fucking round? Like, I'm not looking for a link to your YouTube channel. I'm looking for your round. I want your battle round. We're trying to battle. I'm trying to battle. I've got people waiting. You're lagging. Slacking like a motherfucker. 40 years old and you are unprepared for an online battle. A promo rap battle online against a kid. A guy. A 31 year old West Coast from Napa YouTube rapper. Like I am not that special. I am not that high on the totem pole. And I got myself prepared better than you. And you've been doing this longer than me. Anyway, I'm not trying to rush you, my dude, but I am trying to get this shit cracking. Do you have a YouTube link for me or not? Meaning, do you have your fucking battle round? He sends me a link to his channel. Trying to get my subs up. My dude. Let's just get to my response. I quote, just get your round done, my dude. You can network after it's out, lol. I'm trying to get both rounds dropped. It seems like you're procrastinating, doggy. That was sent at Tuesday, 1.55 p.m., and I'm still waiting. Hey, bro, so it's 7 over there, because he, he tweeted something. Let's go find that tweet real quick. You know, we got to make sure we get all this facts in here, you know, because we're coming up to the end of the Twitter messages. And this is where we're going to end most of this shit anyway. So, let's get back to that tweet in which I was just mentioning. Where he said, going down at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we went a little too far back. We gotta go a little too far forward. So as we scroll up on my Twitter, as you guys can see here, I'm trying to locate where it says it's going down at 7 p.m. Because that's what he said after he saw a tweet of me promoting my newest battle link. Telling him, or telling my viewers and listeners that he declared it's going down at 7 p.m. Okay. So, let's get to this fucking tweet here. He saw, he saw my tweet. Let's get this out the way real quick. He saw my tweet here where I was promoting, I know you can't really see that, sorry. He saw my tweet right here where I was promoting my new music video, okay? He liked it. I said, stay tuned. Let's actually examine this tweet. I said, new music alert. Stay tuned for me and Winning Man. We're about to have a classic. I said, stay tuned at Winning Man 1 and I are about to have a classic. I'm just waiting on the GOAT. Basically saying, send me your fucking round. I'm still fucking waiting. I'm now starting to publicly promote the battle. Get your round done and send it to me. He liked the tweet. Then he quoted the tweet. He said, you can read it. This is him quoting it right here. Now, for those who couldn't read it, I'll read it to you. Upload start at 7 p.m. for the battle. All been played live to show they were done off dome and new beats. Thank y'all for watching. He's still on this whole beat kick. This guy's retarded. At least that's how I'm starting to feel. Then he goes on to tweet again after I said, and I quote, he's quoting another one of my tweets. At Winning Man 1 has declared it goes down at 7 p.m. Tune in to see two great MCs. There's more to that tweet, but I'm not going to get into the thread because it's already a long ass video. I'm trying to finish this up quick. He said, Check out both videos, then leave a comment or like. Let our numbers grow. Fire MCs. That shit was cool. I actually respect him for saying that. Now, that's about it for that, as far as all that goes. So finally, he sends me another link. He gets back to me. We get back on Facebook, on Messenger. He goes, no, uploading non-beat for non-beat and first song was for the one you had to a beat. I responded to him, I told you, doggy, the song you viewed to a beat was a new music video, not for our battle at all. My acapella is for you, for our battle, but I made a status on Facebook. Go ahead and drop your comment there when it's done. Feel free to tag me on Twitter. Thank you again for doing the battle. This was hella fun. Hopefully this brings you new eyes and attention. Anything you tag me in regarding our battle, I will share, especially on Twitter. He goes, this shit live, bro. It's uploaded. I go checking it. I hear a video he's got out claiming to be his round for me. I said, and I said this. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to front. That was dope. It reminded me of the battler. Oops. Classic match, my dude. Because I'm thinking that's his round. I shared that link on every status pertaining to our battle. And put it in the comments of my battle vi video. Stay up. Stay up, G. Keep shining. Keep killing it. Okay? So, basically, I give him props for the link he sent me, saying that that was the one. And I shared it on my status. I shared it in my battle, on my comments, in my link, on my actual video on YouTube. Put a channel link to the description box under his name so people can see it and all that. Like, you know, I, I thought that was his round. Like, I didn't get what he was coming from with this whole beat thing. I still didn't quite understand, but once I finally figured out that he went onto my channel and he looked at my newest music video and tried to connect it to our battle as if I called him out in that, again, that was his bad. That was a reflection of him. I didn't tell him go on my channel and look at my newest video. He went on my channel and looked at it and assumed it was for our battle. 
which is bullshit. Was not it at all. Anyway. He goes, thanks for the insight, bro. That's real. More than anyone did for me. Like, okay, cool. Like, he's happy that I shared his link up on a bunch of shit. It's what I'm supposed to do. It's what I said I would do. This was for promotion. Exposure, bro. Like, this was supposed to be beneficial for both of us. And I said that from the get-go. So, again, no problem. It's all love when it's all said and done. This was for hip-hop and for both of us. Truly, the honor is mine. And I meant that. Like, I really do. I did. I, I was so honored and... Like, I respected this man so much for doing this with me. Like, beyond words could express, I, I really respected him for doing this. He goes on, we have a nice little chat and everything. It's cool, you know? And he tells me, you know, he did some battles in school and, you know, he doesn't really do the whole actual battle thing. He more does radio disses and freestyles and stuff. And tells me he's 40 plus and sends me more links. No mind games, non-battle freestyle, you know. We have a little conversation or whatever. At this point now, I'm just trying to fucking, you know, I'm just trying to promote my battle now. Get the, the likes, the comments, the numbers, everything up for my battle. You know, like, I'm just trying to, you know, close out the battle now that, you know, I think everything's out. This guy drops, like, two more videos. And it's like, Cool, I watch them. I let him talk his shit. From what I get out of this battle, and I'll be honest, since we're, we're done with all this shit and whatnot, you know, I basically put everything out there. I feel like I, I don't have anything else to, to throw at you. No secret hidden information. If y'all want to go and read the tweets and stuff on Twitter, y'all are more than welcome to, you know. Like I said, I basically broke down how this match started, how it even took shape, how I would even cross paths with this guy. I broke everything, battle is broken down everything of how this match was set up, came about, and how me and this guy ended up talking in the begin with. Now we're at the actual battle. The battle's dropped, or at least I feel like it has. I'm promoting my round. Comments are dropping. Likes are coming in. I'm networking. I'm tweeting. And, you know... This guy is over here acting like he's winning. When this is promo. There's no winning in promo. Now, in my lyrics, I'm a competitive writer. I write for the body. I'm writing for the win. When I, when I do a rap battle, when I start writing my bars, I'm writing for the win. I want to win. So, of course, in the battle, I'm going to tell you you lost or that you're losing to me. Because it's a rap battle. I'm not going to walk in there and say, you did a good job, bro. No, that's this isn't a compliment battle. It's a rap battle. So, of course, I'm going to say, I'm going to flip your name. That's what I did. You go by winning man. So I flipped it. How are you winning, man, when you were losing to me right then? That's basically what I was trying to say. It was a flip of your name. Someone who's been rapping for 20 plus years, I figured you'd know about this shit. You'd know how battling works. You'd know there's no limits when you get in a rap battle, you know? So I flipped your name. Told you you were losing. We were rap battling. You took it personally. Then you heard my music video. And you heard the line, take this loss, boss. Wash your face in shame. And you took it personally. So that's where I have a problem with, man. You, you, you brought this confusion on yourself. You messed up this battle we had by getting emotional. And I'll say it again. Give Cassidy his ego back. Okay? You really aren't that great, but you are dope. I'm not going to front. You're not on Eminem's level. I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You're not on that level. But you are dope. So, like, take it how you take it. It is what it is. If you, if you want to make this about winning and losing, bro, I won round one. You didn't even stick to the agreements we had. And you tried to fucking pull some dumb shit. Misconstruing everything. Bro, you be, you be wildin'. Now, I'd still, 
Stand by everything I've said in this 